Android version 10. I will demonstrate how to access the DSF file and explain what is required in order to use this in S2M. What is a DXF file? DXF stands for Drawing Exchange Format. DXF file, which is a CAD data file developed by Autodesk to enable data to exchange between AutoCAD and other softwares. What is a DXF file for? A DXF file is used to transfer a file from a CAD based program to the CNC. This will save you plenty of time when it comes to transferring the data from existing AutoCAD drawings. You may use it for such things as signage, a counter, or any uncommon shape you may need to construct. Right, let's get into it. First we need to open CV10 and create a new job. Then select OK. Next we select S2M Center. Select Materials from the View tab on the top left hand side of screen. Next we are going to work through an example. Just note, for my example, I have chosen to use HMR White 16mm. However, the same method applies for any material you choose to use. To choose your material, select the drop down menu under the Materials tab. As you can see, I have selected HMR White 16mm. Then after that, go into the Pass tab at the top left hand side of the screen. Then select Import DXS from the Tools tab. When you first select it, it comes up with a screen like this. We will now have a closer look at the various tabs. The Open tab is used to select a DXF file you are importing. When you select Open, it opens with another screen. You then browse to the location of the DXF part and select the file and select Open. I'm doing this as a left hand wall side, but you can select any DXF file that you need. Next we have the Default tab. Always leave the default tab as default. There is no need to change it. Now we are going to have a look at Edit the Layer Schemes tab. As you can see, when you select on each of the layers, the picture is red. That means it doesn't recognize the layer name in S2M. And for the file to work, we are going to have to edit the DXF layer name. When you select the Edit DXF Layer Scheme tab at the top, you can see all the layer names in the left hand column and the abbreviated codes in the right hand column. They are what we need to program to align with S2M. Select OK to close the tab. So now we'll need to adjust the names in the Edit DXF Layers Names tab, which is on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Here is where we need to change these names. For example, a DXF file that I selected will come across with a layer name left or side. To make the file compatible with S2M, you will need to select the name to reflect left wall side. For my example, I will choose OT for outline, reflecting the outside of the object. So this is how you do it. Step 1. Select Edit DXF Layer Scheme tab at the top to find a relevant layer name and abbreviated code. Step 2. Select Edit DXF Layer Name tab the bottom right hand side, this opens up another tab. You then go over to New Layer Name and enter abbreviated code. I'll put OT for outline, then select Save. You see how the picture changes to blue instead of red. This means S2M can recognise the layer now. Another example, the layer name is Hole. This needs to be changed to Vertical Ball. The abbreviated code for this is V-Ball. Step 2. Next we enter the depth. The name of this is Operation Depth. After the abbreviated code we enter D for depth and 12 for how deep it is going. Step 3. Now we enter Operation Width at the end. We enter W for the width and 5 for the size of the hole. So it should say V-Ball D12. W5. If the design turns blue, then we know the layer names are correct and the DXF file is now compatible to S2M. This bottom section is where you select either millimetres or inches. You also have this materials tab where you select the material if you want. Finally, you have the save tab at the bottom right hand side of the screen which saves the file into S2M. When you have selected save, you can optimise the DXF file. Now I'll show you again how to import a DXF file. 
So we start a job, press OK. Then we go straight to S2M. Then we go to the Materials tab and select the material we want to use. Then we go back to Parts. Then we go to Import DXF. Then we go to Open. Select where the DXFs are. Press Open. Select the layer names. If they are all red, change the names. Then you can save it away. Thank you for watching this tutorial on importing DXFs into S2M.